What's going on guys? 370 Gaming here, and we are back with the TEW 2013 Local to Global series. This time, Episode 8. Thank you for tuning in and checking it out. I wanted to go over a few things, as I always do, with my notoriously long intros, you know? You can go ahead and skip it if you don't really care and you just want to get to the show, I understand that. But, <laughs> so, I wanted to cover a few things. Um, one being which, I don't know exactly, uh, like, literally the future of the series in terms of am I going to continue with these long uploads and with, with everything, um, uh, you know, the basic structure I've done for the past eight episodes, uh, I don't know if it's going to continue further on. I don't have <coughs> very much time, even in the week, like, to find time to do this uh, regularly, and then come uh, Tuesday... Uh, WB2K16 is going to come out, and as I've told you, I'm, I plan on doing a universe mode for that. And <laughs> that is like a whole other big fucking thing that I'm going to have to do. And, you know, as I told you guys before, I'm not going to quit this series. I'm not going to stop. It's not going to be like on hiatus until I get bored of 2K16 or something. No, I mean, it's still going to happen, but I don't know if it's going to stay in its current form. I may end up uploading like like, we may just go to the shows, and I might just skip, like, some of the booking, like, I might do, like, hirings and firings, and maybe specific gimmick changes, uh, on camera, otherwise, I might just go right to the shows. I don't know, I don't know yet, don't, don't, like, freak out and be like, oh my god, he's gonna change everything up, and I'm gonna unsubscribe, and this sucks, but, <laughs> this is, <laughs> this is, you know, this is what I, this is what might happen, is I might end up changing it, um, yeah, but rest assured, I mean, even if I do change it, it's not going to go away. It's not going to completely disappear or anything. But, um, yeah, you know, I know, you know, everybody here is here for this series. And, you know, well, clearly, because I haven't done anything else. So, <laughs> it's kind of self-explanatory. But, uh, yeah, so, you know, things might change up a little bit during the 2K16 universe, uh the beginning, you know what I mean? Until I can figure things out, you know, maybe I can fit both, you know, full things, you know, in my week, but, you know, hopefully I can. Hopefully everything goes goes totally well. Um, okay, we're gonna get to the reference to last week in a little bit, but first, we're going to make a new show, because, yeah, we gotta make a new show. So if you see right here, we started with Go.Go, we got Up, Up, and Away, I'm I'm slowly increasing my vocabulary abilities as we go on, you know what I mean? I can't, I, I'm clearly not ready, I'm not cut out to use actual, like, pay-per-view names or anything yet, so, uh, this, this week, this month, whatever, will be TTW Over the Moon, that's right. Now, you see, you know, the theme here, you know, up, up, and away, you know, over the moon, you understand what I'm saying? Children's books and children's references and, you know, uh, also, you know, positive perceptions of the future. You understand what I'm saying? Do you, do you get this? Do you understand this? Alright, cool. So yeah, that's what we're going for. TTW over the moon, because my wrestlers are so happy to have a paycheck. That's what I'm saying. See, I'm not like TNA Wrestling. I'm going to pay my wrestlers if they show up and work. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to fucking pay them. They're going to get their money, their money that I promised. I just saved it on a completely random day. Let's let's not do that. Let's not save it on a completely random day. Okay. Monday, week one, October, not what we're doing. So, as we will see very shortly, Juice Robinson is going to make his debut, and we're going to go over the awesome, awesome poll I ran. And Thank you guys for participating in that. That was really cool stuff, so we're going to go over that in a minute. But because we lost money last month, and I'm going to hire Juice Robinson, who I believe is fairly expensive, uh, if I recall... Um, I'm going to run one show in the game, the in-game month, so this is either going to be a really short episode, because we're just going to go through and, like, whatever, or it's going to be long, because we're going to show, like, end-of-month statistics, so I'm, I'm not sure how that's going to go yet, but, uh, yeah, we're doing one show in this October, so we'll, let's see how this goes. Uh, pretty much run any Friday or Sunday I want. Who's booked there? Oh. Ring of Honor is just running a show, okay. Um, what are we doing? What do we want to do? Do we want to do Friday or Sunday? Friday or Sunday. We get better... When do we draw better? Is that... 
Th did I just make sense when I said that? Let me see. When did we, uh, let's see. So Friday, we got 48, 37, 76. Hmm. So I guess it doesn't matter, clearly, from this right here. 80 and 31, for the love of God. Okay. Week 4. I do sense a pattern that we seem to draw higher on week 4 rather than week 2. Hmm. Alright. So let's do let's do week three, just to change things up. Let's do week three. Week three. October and we'll go Friday? Yeah? Yeah, you wanna go Friday? Let's go Friday. Let's go Friday, week three, October. And <laughs> my Ring of Honor guys are gonna be pissed because they gotta work fucking <laughs> Hopefully they can get some bookings on Saturday as well and you know, go get the three weekend payment out of it, but, you know, hey. So we go three week Friday, October, let's do it. TTW over the moon. Also, I wanted to reference really quick. Um, once, um, obviously, number one, once I have more time, and number two, I think when I get, uh, the company gets bigger in size, I'm going to start making the custom logos again. Also, I have to earn my right uh, to spell things on graphics again, so... It, that just that takes time. It takes time to earn your way back. You know what I mean? I gotta climb up the ladder of you know intelligence. Apparently, so yeah, we're gonna we're gonna climb that ladder together. Don't worry, it's gonna be fun. We're gonna have a fun time. So, um, what do I have next? Yeah, are we going? Are we going to Juice Robinson right right now? Um, oh, oh yeah, yeah, duh, duh, duh. So, um, really quick, I know if you don't care about this, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, but uh, some people were asking me how I made my logo because. I don't know, some people, you know, you just don't know graphics, you know, I understand that. Um, I, I, you know, I can't, like, go, like, step by step exactly what I did, but, you know, the plain, you know, simple part of it, I, I chose a cool font, you know, put them together, used Photoshop, you know, they have specific, like, layer uh, effects that make them, like, bold and blends them into the background and stuff like that, and specifically, this background um, is used for the graphics packs for... Uh, TW and uh, yeah, I mean there's a couple default ones, but yeah, I, I like my particularly like this background. So um, if you guys want a tutorial like on how to do that specifically, like with the background, I can give you guys like all the files you need and stuff like that. Let me know in the comments if you're if you're interested in that because um, yeah, that was more of a thing than I thought. I I you know first it was just like one guy like hey you know like. <laughs> You got any ideas? And I'm like, yeah, but it would take a while. So if you want me to do like a separate video of that, I'd be more than happy to. I just, you know, you'd see some like general interest for it. But yeah, man, I'm out to help you guys. You know what I'm saying? You want some sweet graphics, bro? I'll, I'll help you. I'll help you. I really, and, and by the way, I have like the most n <laughs> like beginning advanced, you know, beginning uh, uh, Photoshop skills. Not like I'm a fucking, you know, brilliant genius at it or some shit. Um, anyways, alright, enough of that. Sorry, take up all your time there. Let's go to... Oh, wrong place again. The man of the hour, Juice fucking Robinson, man. Here we go. This is some this is some serious stuff we got right here. So, um, we had a great, great turnout for this. I was really, really happy to see a lot of you guys, you know, voted for Juice Robinson's name, man. That was really cool. And... I told you that I would usually go with the highest amount of votes in the straw poll. Um, I'm getting a little ahead of myself. Let's hire him first. Let's hire him first. 450. That's not bad. I thought for some reason I thought he was more expensive. Um, definitely three years. Absolutely. Let's try to get it down a little bit. Yeah. Cool. 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 So yeah, I was getting ahead of myself. I guess I thought. Uh, uh, I'd be fucking naming him right off the bat. Uh, let's go over that when I, um... Uh, oh god, my brain. My brain doesn't work. Excuse me. When I actually hire him and can change his name, then we will go over the results and, and see what's going on there. So, let's go... I don't know. Let's go a week? Let's just go a week? Yeah, let's go a week. Alright, so we'll go a week, and we'll see if, uh, Juice signs up before then. Alright, multi-advance stopped here. Let's see if we got, uh, the juice man to fucking sign up here. Yes, we do. Excellent. Here we go. Alright. Good to go. Uh, we'll work on that in a little bit. We'll work on that in a little bit. Juice Robinson, the man, has been assigned. 
Well, he's not been assigned. He's been signed. We will then assign him a push, yeah. Main eventer. Oh, shit. Hey, you remember when I fucking predicted his, his main event status, you know? Any popularity? F+, plus? yeah? No? Alright. How, how are you in the ring, bro? It's good at entertainment. It's good at physical. How's his mic skills, I wonder? Huh? You don't have anything about that? Alright. Fair enough. So, back to what I was saying before. Sorry. All over the place here. You know, shit, shit's going down. Um, yeah. Okay, I'm fine. Totally. Don't worry about me. Here we go. Juice Robinson. Uh, the straw poll. So, uh, I don't know where I'm gonna, like, put the graphics here, but I'm just gonna move this cursor out of the way. So, <laughs> uh, you guys voted in the straw poll and in the comments, and I really, really appreciated that. That was really, like I said, that was a really cool turnout. I, that was really nice to see. Um, we're gonna go over the results here. I did say that I would go by who had the most votes in the straw poll unless I saw something in the comments that just blew me away. And I gotta tell you, it, it ab something in the comments absolutely blew me away. So I'm sorry, you know, for, for those of you that voted. All, your votes all very much counted. I, I want to assure you that. I took very deep consideration into this. I did not just like, you know, oh yeah, I'm gonna choose that one. No, no, no. no. I thought about this for a very long time, and I, this comment, it just, I had to, I had to do it. You'll, you'll see why. You'll see why in here in a little bit. Uh, so first, let's go over the straw poll results, just because, you know, I ran it, you know. They should be going up now on the screen. You should see them, but we're going to, I'm going to read them anyways. <laughs> so going from the bottom, uh, we had the juicer and the juicinator with one vote each. We had the juice with three votes each other four okay, so we had four we had at least four comments uh if not uh five which i thought that, that was cool juicy juice got four votes our juice got five votes i thought that was the most hysterical shit i had ever seen in my life i didn't expect our juice to get one single vote <laughs> our juice was fucking funny oh my god and now the last two this was some neck and neck voting i was tracking the voting like throughout the week and Juicitron 5000 ended up with 11, and Juicy J ended up winning the poll with 12. And I, I gotta tell you, personally, I was hoping for Juicitron 5000. <laughs> but, you know, like I said, the YouTube comment, it blew me. It, it blew me? Yeah, it blew me. It, it literally blew me. Uh, so, <laughs> so, that was the results of the poll. Thank you guys again for voting. That was really, that was a fun time. That was a fun time. We'll try to do more of these as, as I you know, think of them, and, you know, have a fun time. Uh, so, I also wanted to give a shout-out to the guys that posted the comments, uh, in the YouTube, uh, posted the comments in the YouTube. Uh, I'm, I'm tired. Give me, give me, please give me a break. I'm doing the video. What more do you want from me? So, there were a lot of comments, and I was really, that was, <laughs> that was really cool, but I just wanted to put up a couple examples that I thought were really, really cool. We had, a uh, Fresh Juice, which I thought was great. Vitamin C, and he beats them to a pulp. I thought that was remarkable. And a throwback to his NXT name, CJ Barker. <laughs> CJ Barker, man, that was that was good stuff. Really, really good, like really good stuff, guys. But um, the winner here, I just I saw it, and I actually <laughs> I actually had to have it explained to me because I was I was reading it at like uh, 9 p.m. When I normally go to sleep at 8 p.m., and I was tired and I didn't understand, so <laughs> he <laughs> he reposted it and explained it to me. Thanks, thanks for that. Uh, Ten percent real juice, Robinson. I thought, fuck yes, that's amazing. Ten percent real juice, Robinson. So that's what we're gonna go with. I was thinking about how. Um, oh, by the way, shout out to Michael Wilson, man. Thank you. Thank you for that amazing comment. And thank all of you guys for, for participating in that. That was really cool. And a lot of those names that were posted in the comments, I, had, I wouldn't have thought about for a second. You know what I mean? So that was, that was really cool, man. Thank you. Um, yeah, so I was thinking about how to do this, and I was thinking... So right off the bat, I was going to just stick with Juice Robinson and then make it, like, 10% real... Juice Robinson, something like that, you know what I mean? Like, oh, that's just, like 10% real Juice Robinson, or we could go, like, parentheses, 10% real Juice Robinson, that just looks stupid, but, um, yeah, I understand, like, how it's actually, it's supposed to be 10% real Juice Robinson, like that, 10% real Juice, that's the original, I understand that, 
but I think for hilarity purposes, it's 10% real Juice Robinson. <laughs> I kind of like that. I, I was, you know, we could do that a few different ways, but, um, yeah, I like 10% real Juice Robinson, so that's going to be his name, man. And, uh, you know what? Um, as the, as the runner-up for the, for the number one vote in the, in the, uh, straw poll, Juicy J will be his short name, because it's my fucking game, and I can name him whatever I want, so there you go. So, 10% real Juice Robinson it is. He is here in TTW. I would like to save that, very much so. Excellent. Excellent stuff. This is exactly, this is... You know what? This is beyond what I hoped for in first mentioning Juice Robinson and first starting the poll and everything. This is beyond what I hoped for. You guys really came through. I appreciate that. I really do. Good shit. Good shit, fam. <laughs> so let's work on getting him a sweet fucking gimmick, bro. Let's get him a sweet fucking gimmick, bro. What can we do here? Now, I don't want to just, like, make him, you know, fucking CJ Parker. He's going to be something else entirely. Um, first off, are we gonna have him be a face or a heel? I think, um, I think the last time we checked, uh, we had a decent number of both. Yeah. Well, heel side is a little, a little lacking, but I guess you could take out the referee, and the booker, and fucking, uh, the announcer. So that's minus three. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, so 9, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, so that's 7 minus Truth Martini. Um, so we do need more heals, so we could do that. Um, I hate to make him a heal, though, I mean, not, you know, come on, he's 10% real Juice Robinson, you know what I mean, but, um... Gee, that's hard. That's hard. I always have a problem doing, uh, deciding that. What's his, uh, strong face performance, above average heel performance? Strong would be considered higher than above average, correct? Yes, okay. So baby face would probably be the best for him. So let's go baby face. You know, it doesn't matter. Does it really? He's not going to be an old school face, because I already have two heels, unfortunately, that are old school faces. So let's not do that. Let's exclude gimmicks that don't suit him. And let's see what we can do with him here. Dancer? Nah, he's not a dancer. <laughs> he constantly goes around dancing even at appropriate inappropriate times. Uh, let's see, the everyman? He could be the everyman. Feels like, you know, one of their own, you know? Um, let's try to give him a really good gimmick. Let's give him, like, fucking minimum baby face is, like, 80%. Let's see what we got. Addict. Really? Really, Addict has a minimum 80% baby face? What the fuck? Okay. Uh, fan favorite. Don't we have a fan favorite gimmick already? I think we do. Lumberjack. Oh my god, he could be a lumberjack. <laughs> hippie. So he could be a hippie. You know? We could have him be a hippie. Um. Gee. That's tempting. That's tempting, I gotta tell you. <laughs> I like the this is a gen generic comedy gimmick. Ten percent real Juice Robinson has a gimmick performance. There's no reason why Juicy J shouldn't be able to do this successfully. <laughs> oh man, Native American. If he were a heel, I might try to do that and just have him like claim that he's fucking you know five percent Cherokee on his father's side or something. <laughs> but uh, uh I don't think that works for when you're a fucking good guy. Like, you're not trying to draw heat by having fucking false racial attributes. Like, what the fuck? Maverick? No, we got Maverick. Uh, he's not... I can guarantee you he's not a male cheerleader. Not, not in my game. Uh, gimmick for worker who has a goal and will stop at nothing to achieve it. Hmm. That, we might, we might consider that. We might consider that. Happy-go-lucky. Carefree and untroubled by anything that happens. Is that John Cena? Is that John Cena's gimmick? He's carefree and untroubled by anything that happens? Yeah, dude. I think that's John Cena. Okay. Um, I might do that. I might do that. I might have him literally be John Cena. That would be funny. <laughs> I'm aware that's not John Cena's gimmick. It's a joke, okay? Everybody calm down. <laughs> Everybody just calm it down a little bit, okay? Thrill Seeker. The, uh, 
the Justin Gabriel gimmick, the PJ Black gimmick. Speaking of PJ Black, by the way, I'm going to the GFW taping tonight. That'll be fun. That'll be a fun time. I went to the first taping. I didn't go to the uh, second taping because uh, I was in, like in the middle of a really bad like project I had to do. And uh, oh my god. But anyways, yeah, go into that. Uh, Patriot. No. Pacifist. Hmm. A well, lot. That, that and the hippie was kind of, kind of the same deal. Uh, I kind of like Happy Go Lucky. I kind of like the John Cena gimmick. I kind of like that he's just carefree. He's untroubled. He's like, you know, hey man, you know, I'm I'm here, man. We're gonna have fun, man. It's gonna be a good time, man. You know, and you can have you can have hippie tendencies and things like that. You can kind of carry over parts of the gimmick into this gimmick, you know. Um, that could work. Let's go with that. I like that. And he's Juice Robinson. He gets fucking creative freedom. Don't worry. 10% real Juice Robinson. The happy-go-lucky fellow. Main eventer face. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. He's pleased. This is great. Things are going well in this company. I'm, I'm, really, I'm really happy about that. So that's good. Alright, let's save that bitch. And, um... Anything else I can think of? I tried messing around with the product a little bit. Um, because if you notice, my storylines are just garbage, you know, and I, at this stage, um, I can't really, you know, like, look at this, I got like five people jammed up in this, and I, I can't, it's hard to establish, like, uh, you versus you, and that's what it's gonna be. You know what I mean? Like, if you have, like, a wwe size roster, that's fine. You can do tag matches and, and fucking all kinds of stuff. But it, it's kind of boring, and if I, rec if I recall correctly, I think if you run the same match X amount of times, if I did ACH and, you know, Kindred 45 times, the match is going to get weaker and weaker and weaker and weaker. I'm not 100% sure on that. Don't, don't quote me on that. But that's what I remember. Um, could be totally wrong. Let me know in the comments if I'm totally wrong about that. Uh, but, um, yeah, and I think even if that wasn't the case, I wouldn't want to do it either way, because I'd just be like, well, it's boring, you know what I mean? So, yeah, I tried messing with the product. Um, uh, yeah, I, I was messing around with some things. The medium cult, I really like having the cult aspect, kind of the rebel alternative feel, you know? I don't... It's not like a huge part, it's just like kind of there, it's just kind of like to be an alternative. We're mostly like mainstream and traditional, but, um, what was it, uh, mainstream, which is the, uh, storylines, where the storylines are very, very important, um, they, if you look here, if you go from key feature to heavy, you go from very favorable to quite favorable, um, yeah, and then if I went even further, you're just not getting shit. You're not getting... Well, you're still quite favorable, I guess. Okay, so... Being that sponsorship, I'm pretty sure, provides me with most of my money, I probably don't want to stray from that too much right now. So, what I might do is, until I get bigger in size, we might just keep it how it is, maintain as much money as I can, as I can and... Um, and then we, we can tweak this more as time goes on, and as I have more flexibility to do what I want. Um, you know, for example, when I get bigger and we get a TV deal and stuff, we might want to tone down the, the cult aspect in case we need to get a specific time slot. If you see right here. See? Now that's not there anymore. Um, but yeah, so we might just keep that as it is for now. But yeah, I just, you know, I want you guys to know that, like, I'm thinking about this. I'm not just like, oh, I don't know what's going on. Ugh. Let's check to see if everybody's happy real quick. Happy Meal's happy. <laughs> happy Meal is very happy. Because he won. Who'd have thunk? Alright. Everybody's pleased. Yo, Kindred is fucking ungrateful. He should be happy as fuck, dude. I've, I've strapped the fucking rocket to him. Oh, he was pissed because I didn't fucking push him or whatever. That's... You, 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 look at him. Look how fucking sensitive he is, dude. He's so sensitive. Alright. Uh, yeah. Let's go on. Uh... Let's just go on. Let's just go on. We'll see what happens. Alright, guys. We're back here. And we are, you know, I stepped away for a little bit because that was quite a 
That was quite a simulation there. I guess Jerry Lawler is getting ready to retire, or at least start a new career behind the scenes. You know, well, good for you, Jerry. Good for you, man. You 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 do what you need to do in your life. You know what I'm saying? Eight days left. Uh, fuck. Well, I guess I could have you know thought about that and then just like cut this whole thing out, but instead, you know, now you're hearing me, and it's like, well, I gotta hear him again. Oh my god. Uh, <laughs> but anyways, let's try to get to the pay-per-view, the event, the show, whatever it is. Let's try to get to that. Alright, we're back here. I believe the day of the show, that's a very good thing. Pro Wrestling Noah is starting a bunch of shit. I don't know what the hell that's about, but they've just lost their fucking minds. I don't know, I don't know what's going on. That's, that's really bizarre. That's, that's really weird. But... Tonight, we've got TTW over the moon, and you know you've got to be excited for it, because even though you don't know what's going on, I don't know what's going on, none of us know what's going on. Actually, before we go uh, to the show, uh, I thought um, I had some notes from last time that I wanted to check and uh, shortlist some people for the future, although God knows I'm not going to be able to actually hire anybody anytime soon, but you know. It's good to have them on the short list and see what's going on. So, I wanted to... Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, so, the Bravado Brothers. I wanted to uh, short list here. Okay. Short list him. That's Bravado. Let me see. 300, yeah. So, this would be a solid tag team to add um, <clears throat> for my eventual tag team division, which I will hopefully have. Uh, yeah, I, I like these guys. They they know what's going on. You know what I mean? They got it. They got it around. Uh, yeah, popularity. That needs a little bit of work, but that's fine. Uh, there was them, and, uh, oh, uh, so for Kafu, I was thinking about Kafu, and he needs a valet. That's what he needs. Um, so I, you know, I could go through, and I could look, and I could get somebody, but... I also thought it would be fun if you guys wanted to give me a suggestion for who Kafu's, you know, uh, chick that, you know, comes out with them should be. You know, am I going to pull, like, a straight-up Lana? Like, am I going to have this person, you know, be Russian when they're white? Probably when white. Oh, my God. Okay. When they're American? Good Lord. Good Lord. I'm not I'm not fit to record today, guys. I, I got to I gotta go back to bed, honestly. Um... So yeah, am I gonna am I gonna make this American white chick that I'll probably hire uh, Russian? Probably. So you give me some ideas if if anybody uh, watching watches like you know uh, indie shows like Shine or, or Shimmer or you know anything like that. Uh, if you know of any uh, you know talented women to partner up with Kafu, you let me know. You let me know, man. Even if uh, you know you like a Japanese chick, I don't care. You know some. Some some woman that would be good in this role. I think it would be I think it would be entertaining. But, so you let me know if I don't get any suggestions. No big deal. Uh, I'll just you know I'll think about it over time and we'll we'll get it. Yeah, because like I said, I can't hire anybody anyway. So we're gonna we're gonna be broke as fuck uh, very shortly. So no no rush no rush on that one. But I did want to to mention that and bring that up. So I shortlisted the bravados and brought up the Kafu valet situation. I think that's it for now. I had another idea to shortlist somebody. I forgot who it was. But, um, yeah. At this stage, it's not the biggest problem. But I did want to do that uh, on, like, camera. You know what I mean? So, let's go to the show. TTW. Over the moon. Over the fucking moon. We got the same shitty high school gym we are always fucking blowing the roof off of, man. How many fans are we going to get today? 68. This is an improvement. This is a good improvement, man. We have had some shitty fucking crowds. 68 would be great. I would really, really like that. That would be good stuff. Popularity's F. What's the, uh, the default was, um, like, you're, like, F minus everywhere, right? Yeah, so at least we're F. That's good. Um, yeah. So 68 fans. That's good. I gotta get my brain together here. So... We have quite a show to set up here. I don't know what the fuck we're doing. Uh, let's see. So, um, let's check everybody. Can we check, like, momentum? Like, anybody? No? Like a match? Like, put a match together? Check people's momentum? 
Cause I don't want to. I don't want to bury anybody when I don't know what's going on yet. <laughs> like I'm like I'm planning to bury my roster. Like, hey, hey man, I can't have you getting over. I'm sorry. F minus E plus A C H is at D plus Adam Cole is at. He's a fucking road agent. Brandon Watts D plus F E minus. Okay, okay, okay. All right, so not too bad, not too bad. We got a f got a few E minuses there, and we got a few D pluses, which is just amazing. So, all right, so Cage is a main event heel, and Adam Cole's a main event heel, and you know, um, uh, unlike WWE, I see that Cage here is getting over and has momentum and things of that variety, and uh, I'm not gonna bury him. That's the thing. I'm not gonna bury him. If I want. Let's say Johnny Cockstrong, the man himself. Look at that fucking determined face, dude. He knows what's going on. Johnny Cockstrong. If I want Johnny Cockstrong to be the Roman Reigns, and I'm going to fucking push him to the moon. And you know what? He's going to bury Cage, and he's going to bury Adam Cole, and he's going to bury them in a fucking handicap match. He's going to fucking set them on fire and fucking make them bleed and fucking, you know, barbed wire baseball bat. I don't know what he's doing. He's Johnny Cockstrong. He's fucking crazy. But no, like, I'm not going to do that. You know what I mean? Johnny Cockstrong will find his way naturally. He's got this. He knows what he's doing. Cage and Adam Cole, so I clearly see things are working with them. Um, things are working with ACH too. Not, not too bad. Not too bad. He had a D minus, I believe, before uh, Kindred on the title. Kindred should have a lot more momentum than he does. I don't know what's up with that. And I don't really have much choice other than to to push him because he's he's the fucking world champion. You know what I mean? <laughs> like he's the fucking world champion. So what I might do, um I hate to sacrifice poor Juice Robinson, but he might have to come in and lose to uh to Kindred. Um You know, I don't think anything short of Juice Robinson fucking, uh, you know, burying everybody in, like, a full handicap match would get his momentum any higher than, like, a D-. minus. You know what I mean? I don't, I'm pretty sure anything less than that would mean, you know, the same momentum he's going to have regardless at this stage where we are in this company. So I'm not really worried. I, so i got to put my focuses on Cole, Cage, and the world fucking champion. Um, I don't want to drop the title on Kindred, off Kindred, uh, but if his momentum just doesn't pick up, or if he's not getting over, uh, we might have to do something about that. We might have to do something, so, um, let me see, is he, he is, because he is getting over in popularity, correct? He is getting, yeah, he has a F, 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 so he only has a few F minuses, so that's not bad. What's he got? F pluses, there's that. F pluses, Fs. And F pluses. Okay. Juice Robinson. Oh, that makes me not want to have him lose though, because that's Ugh. That's that's a tough one. That is a tough one. Hmm. We could have Let's let's say that Juice Robinson alright, let's go this way. Let's go this way. So let's say Juice Robinson comes out and everybody is fucking hyped to see Juice Robinson. Those 68 people in that shitty high school gym, they are losing their fucking minds over the 10% real Juice Robinson himself. And he's there in TTW, and he's excited, and he, you know, he's like, I want a title match, because I am that great, you know? And people just love it. Yeah! Yeah, Juice Robinson, he's fucking great, dude! I fucking love him! And so... Uh, yeah, they're like, oh my god, let me do that. And so Truth Martini and Kindred come out, and they're like, no, you you just got here. Listen, 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 listen. Kindred, he is a one-of-a-kind spirit animal, the king of darkness. You know, all of those names that, that we gave him. He is all of those things. And he doesn't fight, you know, one-off people. He only fights real contenders, real contenders for this championship. That's who he fights. So Juice Robinson has to earn his his uh his spot tonight. He has to earn that shit. So he's gonna have to beat somebody in order to fight for the title next show. Who do I put over? I mean, uh, who do I put Juice over? That's gonna be a tough one. But we're gonna work that out. We're gonna work that out. So <clears throat> so let's do the first the opening promo of uh fucking Juice Robinson. I don't want to overuse them though. Like I don't want everybody to be like, oh my god. Uh, let's do 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 do. Let's do promo. Chat. Do I want to do challenge? 
Is it challenge? Should I do a challenge? Like challenge uh not accepted or something. Let's see here. Challenge, refuse challenge. Participant one comes out and says he refuses the challenge of who is in the ring. Overness. Uh, I don't like things based on the overness. That's not good right now. Let's see. That's better. Okay. <clears throat> participant one says that he refuses the challenge made by participant two. Oh, that's just like him just standing out there by himself. Oh, I don't want to do that. Let's do. Don't they have one where it's like I challenge you, and then he's like, "No, fuck off." Isn't there? Isn't there one like that? Makes challenge. Player two accepts the challenge. Player two rejects the challenge. Okay, so I'll do that if nothing else. And let's see. Worker challenges an enemy who accepts the challenge with a brawl. Ooh, I like that. I like that. I'm not sure if I want to do that though. Hmm. A worker calls out an enemy. Participant two doesn't answer. That's it's kind of tough because you, you know you have the basic idea, and I could make an angle, and I could be like, "This happens. This happens." I could write it out word for word and shit. But I, you know, I don't. I don't really like that. Let's just do challenges video. Pre-tape is played where one worker challenges another. Now I definitely gotta have Juice Robinson come out and just like totally freak out the crowd, dude. Gotta have him fucking pop. Gotta get that pop. Gotta get that debut pop. Let's do. I don't know. Would you get a bigger debut pop if you if you had a pre-tape first and then showed up in the match? Well, he's gonna have a match tonight, so eh, it doesn't matter. It's all semantics in the text simulation video game. Uh, let's do... Damn, Overness. Player 2 appears and rejects the challenge. Let's do that. I like this one better. So let's do this. And let's say that... Okay. Player 1 makes a challenge for Player 2. Well, I don't like that because I don't... I don't can Kindred talk? I don't... I don't know if he can talk at all. Eh, it's average. It's about what everybody has. Eh, fuck it, fine. I'll have Truth Martini cut like a fucking pre-tape promo or something. So let's do, so, uh... 10% real Juice Robinson debuts. Uh, challenges Kindred. Kindred declines. And so from this point, we'll have Truth Martini kind of come out. So let's just say, let's just say, let's say this happens. So uh, uh, Juice Robinson comes out, he hypes up the crowd, he says, I want a title match, blah, blah, blah. Kindred and Truth Martini come out and both, like, reject the challenge. So Kindred straight up just says, like, no. He's just, like, really, he's, he, he keeps to himself mostly, but he's like, no. And, uh... Then, in this next segment, then Truth Martini will further elaborate. You have to win, blah, 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 then you can fight him next time, etc., etc. So, yeah. Um, so that should work for that, and then we'll have Truth Martini cut a promo. Something about manager or something. Accepts the challenge, one of his clients. Let's do that. Let's try that, because he accepts it under the terms that Juice Robinson wins his match later tonight. So let's do that. So the other one was six. Let's do three or four. Let's just do four. It doesn't matter. They're not going to actually be out there for ten minutes. But uh, So Truth Martini, uh, what does he do? He explains to Juicy J that uh, he must win his match tonight to get a title shot. Title shore, yeah, title shot. So, yeah, you have to be, you know, you have to earn your contendership status, is what he's saying. Which actually is fair, to be honest. You know, that's actually pretty fair. Kindred and 10% real juice Robinson. Okay, that, is that right? Just went one, accepts the challenge. Uh, bye. I just spent three, two, I spent two, yeah, okay. Okay, cool, cool, cool. So that sets up next show, but for this show tonight, what I want to try to do is we're going to try something different. So I don't do this very often, so let's do a 3v3 match. We're going to pull like a, like a Monday Night Raw type of gimmick here. So what we're going to do, 
is we're going to do Castle and Creed with no with Kindred versus ACH I said ACH versus uh, Marcus Crane and Two Dope Two Dope his storyline is probably going to be put on hiatus for a while with the ICP um, he's still trying to reach out to them you know what I mean he's you know He's just, he's on the grind, dude. He's always on the grind. He's trying to get his tape out. So, uh, yeah, this match will happen. Not too bad. Oh, I'm sorry. Did I put Juice Robinson in there? Did not mean to do that. I meant to put Kindred. Oof. Ooh, that would have been bad. Ooh. Where the hell's Creed? The whole hat. I thought I put them in as a team. Okay, guess I changed them afterwards. Oh, my God. Oh, the, the horror if I had come back to this match afterwards and seen that. Oh. That would have been so bad. Okay. Kindred, Dalton Castle, Nelson Creed, ACH, Marcus Crane, 2 Dope. There we go. That's a fucking main event status main event right there. Let's go... Let's see, 20 minutes for a major match. I think I think a six-man tag, we can we can pull off 20 minutes. Um, we might give limited to Kindred to kind of make him look strong. We'll, we'll see how that goes. Um, yeah. Yeah, so let's just, so, epic six-man tag main event. That's what we'll call it. And it will be Kindred getting the pin on probably Two Dope. Two Dope's kind of the jobber of that group, but he'll he'll get the he'll get the rub with uh, the ICP eventually here. Um, I'm going to keep ACH strong. And... It's gonna be should it be an open match. I kinda wanna do limited involvement with Kindred because he kinda gets gassed and he kinda you know, and he could just come in and just wreck face. He doesn't have to like, you know. Uh but does have the disadvantage that the wrestler in question will have vastly reduced gains in terms of popularity and skill changes. Well I don't want that. Fuck that. Are you kidding me? Shouldn't that work opposite for popularity? I understand skill changes, because if you're not in the ring, you're not getting any better. But for popularity, uh, you're the big, you're the fucking, you're the last minute hot tag, and then you just run through and fucking steamroll people. Doesn't that get you over even more? I don't know. That's what I thought. I guess it's for the game. It, you're hiding the, the bad skill wrestlers to, to make them look better, but in, in effect, you're, you're, you're stunting their growth as a performer. So that makes sense. I, I get that. But it's all, it's the video games, you know what I mean? Uh, so Kindred wins, Two Dope loses, ACH kept strong, we'll do an open match. And, it's so oh, it's a decisive win, you better believe it. You better believe it. Um, we'll do, we'll do a, um, a little distraction, kinda. We'll do Truth Martini distracting ACH. I don't know, do I want to do that? Are the other fans gonna be all pissed off that I did that? It's just gonna be like this is how I would picture um like the finish going down is that everybody's down except Kindred, Two Dope, and ACH. And so Two Dope is like trying to get to the tag to ACH, but Kindred is just fucking him up. And uh ACH is like determined to get in there, but then Truth Martini distracts him and ACH gets off the apron and he's like, Oh, I'm gonna fucking kill Truth Martini. In effect, when Truth Martini is running away from ACH, Kindred fucking demolishes Two Dope and gets the pin, and then ACH kind of he kind of runs in for that last minute, you know? Oh, oh my God, can I get him? No, no, you're too late. You got distracted. You got to keep your eye on the ball. You didn't do it, ACH. So yeah, you know, and it gives him an excuse, and he's kept strong, and so on and so forth. So that that should be a good match, man. I'm I'm pretty happy with that. Pretty happy with that main event match. And I kind of want to give the rub to uh. Uh, the tag teams in case they can get anything from that. <laughs> Especially if Castle and Creed can get any rub from Kindred uh, because uh, I'd like them to be my future face of the tag team division, quite frankly. So let's do the Juice Robinson match. Um, I don't know who I want to fight, have him fight. Happy Meal could be a good one, but... Oh boy, Kafu is having hard times here. Hard, hard times. 
Um, I might be totally wrong on this, but let's go Kafu for now. Um, he's already, like, ice-cold momentum. I mean, no matter what I do, I'm gonna have to build him from, from scratch. So, once he gets the valet, I can kind of rebuild him and stuff. Uh, because everybody else has got at least F+, plus, E-, minus, E+, plus momentum. Um, I'd rather not jeopardize that, to be honest. So, Kafu, sorry, buddy, you're gonna have to take the L on this one, so... Hey, you know, that's part of Kafu's story, man. He's got to, you know, he knows. He knows he's got to start from the bottom and he's got to work to the way to the top. And you know when you're fighting Juicy J, 10% Real Juice Robinson, you got you got problems, man. You got problems. Let's go 12 minutes on that. Let's go 13. Fuck it. Let's go 13. Juicy J over Kafu. Yeah, because I'm not going to type that out every fucking time. Fuck that. Let's do Apollo. And Juice Robinson gets the win. Um, I don't know if I want to do that. We'll do open match. We'll do... Do not want to work the crowd? Is that going to be like the opening match? I don't know. Probably not. No, fuck that. Decisive win. Pinfall. Don't know what his finish is. Gonna have to look that up. And, yeah. Okay. What is his finish? Look that up really quick. Let's see. He doesn't have a fucking finish. Does he not have a finish? Real life? He doesn't have a finish? What? G give me a minute. Let me go look this up. Okay, so that was, uh... Yeah, yeah, I, I, I actually knew these finishes. I just forgot. Um, so he used the weird the weird thing that, that Seth Rollins used for a little while uh, after the curb stomp was kind of pushed down a little bit. Not really supposed to use that. Is it not here? Really? Is it literally not here? I, I saw it listed under front face lock drop. Would it be, like, just face lock or something? Do I have to add it? Face lock. Front. There's no front face lock drop. Okay, how about the palm strike, which was his other one? No palm strike? Real life? Is this real life right here? <sighs> okay. Well. Front face lock drop. That was his first finish. It was the impact move. It was a finisher. No cheating. Um, let's say it can cause blood. It can be done through a chair, onto a chair. Um, it could hypothetically be done through a table. It could. It's kind of, it's kind of lame. But you know, you can also RKO somebody through a table, and that's, well, that's kind of stupid. I wouldn't say it could be done off of ladders. It's kind of tricky. You. C you could, but it's not like a fucking swanton bomb or something, so no. In, out, yeah, no. Done on anyone. Yep. Front face lock drop. Okay. And then, should I even bother adding the palm strike? Let's say it's a... S oh, these are like more powerful finishers. Well, let's just say palm strike then. It was the third eye or something, but I'm just going to call it the palm strike because, uh, I don't know. just don't want to go with the third eye. Sue me. Uh, can cause blood. Clearly, if you saw Kevin Owens' debut match in NXT, <laughs> clearly it can cause blood. Very much so. Um, none of those can be done wherever. Nope. Yep, okay, cool. Palm strike. Yes, that clearly can do that. Alright. So he's got some finishing moves now. That's good. Okay, so... All right, man. We're, we're we're doing pretty well. We're doing pretty well here. This is not bad. We got 21 minutes here. Um, what else do we have? Who who else do we have? Who do we have that's not being used? Yeah, I forgot what to do. Roster overview. Nope, not roster overview. Analysis. 17. Oh my God. Adam Cole and Cage. Duh. Uh, let's. We can have them fight. 17 and Brandon Ren Watts in a tag match. We do that. Brandon Watts has like a surprising amount of momentum. That's that's really surprising. Um I don't know what's going on there. Marcus Owens. Poor Marcus Owens, he's just kinda in limbo. I don't even know what to do with him. I don't want to use like everybody because we're we're gonna be poor as fuck right now. We're gonna be poor as fuck. Um But yeah, I mean, we can do that in an attempt to get uh uh tag team thing going with Adam Cole and Cage. 
Yeah, unknown booker is not. No. Uh, let's see. What do I want to do here? What do I want to do here? Let's just do that for now. It's going to be fucking tag team night. Whatever. That's fine. You know? The, you know, the shows are less important at this stage. Let's let's not w w worry about this here. Not tag teams. Uh, 17. And Brandon Watts. Against... Um, oh, God, what am I doing? Adam Cole and Cage. Here we go. And they're, you know, Adam Cole and Cage, they're dicks, you know what I mean? They'll, you know, they'll get along just by being dicks, you know what I mean? And who knows? They may have, uh, like, chemistry as tag team partners. Who knows? Uh, definitely don't want this to go over... <laughs> definitely don't want it to go over fucking eight minutes. Let's just do eight minutes. Adam Cole and Cage over 17... Brandon Watts. Let's have Adam Cole get the fucking victory, because he is Adam Cole, baby. And 17's going to take the fall. We're going to keep Brandon Watts strong, because he's got at least something. He's got, like, E-. minus. That, that's fine. Um, And by kept strong, that's very loose. That's like... You know, I mean, they're they're mostly just destroying them, but, uh, you know, Brandon Watts at least comes back a little bit. I'll work the crowd. And, um, decisive pinfall. Yeah, that'll work. Oops, yep. Okay, I like that. Pretty good. I need t 11 more minutes. Really? 11 more minutes? I feel like we've done more in, in, in other shows, and, and we've had, you know... X amount of time. Let's see what else we can do. Who else do we have? Happy Meal, Johnny Cockstrong, and Marcus Owens. Let's do a Marcus Owens... Um... Well, actually, hold on. Who has Happy Meal, Cockstrong, and Marcus Owens? Happy Meal... F-... minus. F-... minus. Uh... F in Southwest. Hmm. So I don't really want to do any popularity-based type of things. We could go entertainment. Um. What did we do last time with Cockstrong? Anybody remember that? Anybody remember what we did last time with Johnny Cockstrong? Kafu attacked him backstage. Well, that got dropped. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Totally fucking forgot that. Oh well. Yeah, Kafu Kafu's just gonna have to uh he's he, he's got he's got things, man. He's got he's got problems, you know. Uh, I would I could have Cockstrong attacked Kafu before the match. You wanna do that? You wanna could I Cockstrong attack Kafu? It'd be something. It'd be slightly entertaining, if nothing else. Um Ambush. No, not ambush, right? No, sneak attack? Overness, fuck. Uh, right on entertainment. Ambush. Attempted beatdown. Second worker foils it now. Mmm. Singles. The fuck? They're jump now. No. No. No, let's just do, like, attack. Can we do, like, attack? Yeah. Bloody mess. Oh, my God. And beats him down to the ground. Then wh what is the third... Who's the third person? A worker attacks another backstage and beats him to the ground. That... that I don't know. I don't know about that. Um, Let's do... Maybe we could do some skit where, like, maybe he just pisses off Kafu and he doesn't, like, beat him down, really. <laughs> no. Uh, imitates another. That could be amusing. But, eh, at this, at this rate. I don't know, fuck it. Let's do it. Eh, fuck it. We got, we got time to kill, man. We got 11 minutes, man. We got fucking... Let's do this at least for 6 minutes, so... Johnny Cockstrong imitates Kung Fu! Ha <laughs> ha! It's very funny. Hardy har har. We all have a laugh. 
ha ha that's how, that's how we laugh but uh, yeah kafu apparently just doesn't give a shit because he's he's got a match you know he's got he's got to focus on the match so we can have that be a thing and we'll do a hype can we just get like a one person video entertainment based promo interview now so no no video there we go so this will be a Marcus Owens hype video just kinda showing him training and stuff like you know and because I've pretty much run out of ideas we're just gonna run this for five minutes be like a fucking documentary or something <laughs> But yeah, not too bad, not too bad. Okay. So this looks pretty good. So we got Juice Robinson debuts, challenges Kindred, and Kindred and Truth Martini come out. They decline. Truth Martini then explains to him that he you can't just walk in here and have a title shot. You have to prove yourself. You have to win the match tonight against Kafu. And Juice Robinson's like, alright, man, I gotta do what I gotta do. Adam Cole and Cage... Uh, win a match because you got to keep the momentum going. <laughs> Quite frankly, Johnny Cockstrong imitates Kafu. He comes out like fucking Rusev. He comes out. He's imitating a copy, but but they don't know that. We don't know that that he's a copy. So don't worry about that. Kafu, incensed, completely enraged, loses to Juice Robinson because Juice Robinson's got to get that shot next week, next month, next month. Marcus Owens, hype video, he's still here, don't forget about him, and the epic six-man tag main event. Let's run the show. Alright, so Juice Robinson comes out, and he's pumping up the crowd, and he's like, hey, you know, we're, I'm here, let's fucking fight! Kindred's like, nah, nah. He just said, nah. He just he picks up the mic, he looks around, very menacingly, Nah. Juice Robinson's like, oh, well, all right, <laughs> fair enough. Juice Robinson got a C rating on that. It was creative freedom. I guess I should have thought about that. I guess I shouldn't have really given that to him. Um, you know, that's what happens. You make mistakes. At least he's not fucking old school heel and he's a face. Truth Martini helped Kindred. He's like, say nah, and he said nah. Segment lifted the crowd. You minus. Mm hmm. Let's let's make it now. All right, okay. Well, I guess we do it from from this point. Truth Martini, Kindred, accept the challenge essentially, and you know if he wins the match. No, so let's let's make the let's make the pre-bookings for the next for the next show. Let's book here. Uh, let me write this down in case I forget. Uh, pre-booked. Juice versus Kindred. Alright. We're gonna have Juice Robinson versus Kindred for the world title. What a crazy, awesome match. Versus Kindred. TTW World Championship, man. It's gonna be some awesome stuff. Not booked for TTW Battle Lines. That's, that's, that's wrong as fuck. Let's not do that. Let's not do that. Forget that. I'm gonna forget that whole thing. <coughs> Trash that. Everybody erase that from your memories. Don't worry about it. All right. Yeah. E minus. Not too bad. E minus match as well. This is not bad. We're doing. We're holding up so far. Adam Cole and Cage defeated both of them in eight ten. When Adam Cole defeated seventeen with a Florida key. Seventeen and Cage were off their game tonight. I don't know why. Match was poorly placed. The crowd were already pretty hot. Oh, okay. The the promo fucking. Okay, all right, that's fair. E minus though is not bad for that. So let's let's be honest here. Was there any other reason uh, they were kind of fucked up? Low locker room morale. Really? Really? It's not that low. <laughs> it's not that low. Come on, guys. Johnny Cockstrong. We're st we're getting an even E minus. I'm pretty happy with this so far. It's Johnny Cockstrong dressed like Kafu. That's so funny. And everybody loves that. It's really fun. Johnny Co who doesn't love Johnny Cockstrong? So that's that's a good time. First F, unfortunate. Kafu was off his game. Hit him with the f the weird front face lock drop thing. 
lack of flow being noticeable. I forgot. I already forgot how I booked this match, so that kind of sucks. But uh, Juice Robinson improving performance skills. Not too bad. Not too bad. E minus again. Cool. 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 E plus. That's how you end a fucking show, man. That's good. All right. Extremely poor match. I don't care. Kindred and Castle and Creed defeated ACH, Marcus Crane, and Two Dope in 20 minutes and one second when Kindred defeated Two Dope by submission with a Canadian backbreaker rack. During the match, we also had Truth Martini distract ACH. Martini did some good work at ringside. By the way, how many people attended? 75. Is that not our second highest attendance? Ooh. Ooh, we gotta look that up. Okay. Uh, people were off their game tonight, man. I don't know what I gotta do to fix that. That's, that's unfortunate. All the storylines went up. That's good. <laughs> and the match lifted the crowd. That's cool. Two Dope was getting a little tired. That's alright. But they improved. He improved. Good. I'm, I'm pretty satisfied with that, man. I'm pretty satisfied. I know it's an E-, minus, but I'm pretty satisfied. I got I gotta be honest. So, let's see here. What do I wanna do? Let's have well Juice Robinson, of course. He's gotta be he's gotta get a good speech. Let's do I think Kindred more than held up his own his his end of the bargain tonight. I think he did pretty good. Let's do uh not praised per se. Well let's yeah, let's do that. And um who else do we wanna do we wanna do here? Um E minus F, Kafu, uh eh. Johnny Cockstrong, man. He put on such a great fucking performance of, of Kafu. That was... You're giving a hug, dude. Love you, man. Excellent. Good feelings all around. That's how you run a show. I don't give a fuck. It was an E-, minus because there was no D-plus, like, main event to... Well, we, well, we might have to do... Kendra might be losing the title next 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 month because he cannot pull off the D plus main event, D minus main event that makes the show higher up in quality. So we might have to look into that. And who better than Juice Robinson to fucking bring it all up? Uh, let's see. So TTW over the moon, not too bad. Seventy five fans. I'll I'll take it, man. I'll fucking take it. And for the history, 75. I, like I said, I think that's our second highest win on 76. Oh, okay, so third highest. Still, that's pretty good. Third highest for that. I'll take that. All right. Pretty cool, man. Pretty, pretty cool. So that's good. Um, What we'll do now is probably let's simulate one day until Sunday. Let's do two days. Um, just to get the week started, and then we'll 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 come back and we'll see what we're gonna do. All right, guys. So, ooh, what is this? Oh, ROH extension, like contract extension. I don't know why I thought ROH was just gonna like start uh, fucking expanding like crazy. So this is Monday, week four. So we gotta go through one more week to end the month, so we know what is happening with our lives. So let's go one more week. And I'll see you then. Alright guys, we're here at the end of the month. Got some unread emails, we're gonna wait on that. Hell in a Cell 2015, I thought that was pretty cool when I saw that. So, because, if you don't know, when this is recorded, uh, Friday something or other, uh, in two days, Hell in a Cell 2015 is actually taking place. Wow. So, <laughs> 69,386 fans, that's excessive. I don't know how that happened. But John Cena is always the star of the, sh the, star of the show. Wow. At least Ambrose is getting the rub, I guess. Seth Rollins and Roman Reigns, that's cool. Undertaker and Brock Lesnar, oh shit. Oh shit. They had a Hell in a Cell confrontation instead of a match. Bella, I'm sure that's Nikki. Rollins and Ambrose. Henry and Rusev defeated the Dusts. Sting, Sheamus, and Randy Orton chilling at a bar, as with uh, the last pay-per-view, of course. Sandow, Ryback, and Barrett defeated, ooh, okay... Roman Reigns and Bray Wyatt. So what the fuck is going on? Roman Reigns, Seth Rollins, Bray Wyatt, and uh, and who was the other one? They're, they're like all in like one fucked up storyline. Like wh what the hell is going on? Uh, Sin Cara 2 won a triple threat match. I think Sin Cara 2, yeah. Uh, <laughs> the Matadors defeated the Ascension. 
Wyatt family beated David Otunga and Sami Zayn. What a team. What a team that is. And Triple H has got demoted hard as fuck. That's funny. That's really funny. And Kevin Owens is with fucking Simon Gotch. What the hell? Alright, well, that's what happens. That's what happens in this weird, weird story. But let's do the money. That's what's up. Okay, okay, so now I know. Now I know I shouldn't be running two shows a month. This is... God damn, that's great news. That's really great. Um... Yeah, I couldn't have asked for a better ending to this video than that. I mean, we got Juice Robinson, we got fucking... Oh, that's great, dude. That's so great. I wonder what sort of horrible news the email has for me. TV networks are now beginning to look at scheduling for the winter season. I'm pretty sure I still can't get a TV show, so I really wish they would not rub that in my face. But that's fine. $13,929 worth of money. Dollars worth of money. <laughs> oh my god. Thank God I am wrapping this up because I am losing it. I'm losing it, but it's fine. Going to go to GFW tapings tonight. I'll let you know next week how it happened, how uh how the matches were, you know? You know, it's a pretty good show the first time around, you know what I mean? But uh anyways, thanks thanks a lot guys for watching and I'll talk to you later.